going on guys welcome back to the channel i took the day off for my actual job today to get a few things done on the q50 and film a couple videos so let's get into it what i wanted to do today was install those new vic res splitters on the q50 i think they're gonna look sick let's take a look at them and see what we're working with I mentioned in the unboxing video for these splitters first impressions really in my opinion aren't all that great they're just sort of some flimsy ABS plastic. Uh, the box was ripped up. Now that has nothing to do with the company. I'm sure it got ripped by UPS but or, or the Postal Service. Uh, so they're all dirty and gross. Uh, I'll wipe them down, make sure they look decent. I don't uh, there's a couple little scratches. But uh, again, they're not really not all impress impressive, but they do look good on the car. So it really doesn't take much. It's been frustrating actually trying to find splitters for the car because I just have a look that I want. I got these and I guess we're gonna go we're gonna go for it. I'm, I'm literally this close to just making my own splitters. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see some Speed Culture Studios splitters. Maybe we'll have to start offering these. We'll get these tested up and fit up and and we'll see. We'll see what happens but that might be in the future. Speed Culture branded splitters. Uh, we did get the little fins for them. Uh, I do have a hardware pack. There's no tape included, but I do see some self tappers So that's going to be what we use to mount them to the the rocker of the car uh, the underside of the vehicle uh, There's some little L brackets to mount these fins no pre-drilled holes or anything No instruction a little bit of aptitude and you'll be able to handle it functionality wise zero uh, aesthetics They should look really good and on the installation videos that Vic Res has on YouTube they actually like set a box underneath it to help hold it up in place while you while you screw it into place or mark your holes. Uh, I think that's honestly dumb. Um, I would use some double-sided tape, just a little a little bit of it, even if you're not going to use it to actually mount the splitters to the underside of the car. It can help you put them up into place, and that way you can make adjustments and figure out exactly where you want the splitters to go, uh, and you know, get it in the perfect location rather than pre-drilling holes, holding it up there with a box, trying to screw them in from under the car, blah, blah. It's just, it's just dumb. Get some double-sided tape on your own. That's my recommendation. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so you get about 14 or 15 self-tappers. That gives you about seven per side. That should be plenty, especially if you're using tape as well. And then again, the yell brackets with the small nuts and bolts to attach the fins to the splitters. Um, no pre-drilled holes in the splitters themselves. Um, but there are pre-drilled holes in the little fins if you chose to get them. These are a little an extra charge. Uh, I chose to get them just for a little added. Uh, so what you do is you line them up in the location that they will be. Uh, and then mark the holes. And apparently when you move it up, that gives you the perfect alignment. That's what they suggest. But you would never know that if you didn't watch the video. You might just be trying to make measurements here and make measurements here and here. It's it's easy to do. You can do it on your own. But uh, I guess they provide you with a, a little trick, a little tip, trick, insight. And you line it up like this. Mark the holes. And that way when you flip it up, the L bracket fits perfectly. Technically, you can face the splitter or you can you know have one, the splitter on whatever side you actually want. Um, but I think technically how they would have it would be the name toward the back. And I think that makes the most sense also. I think it looked weird uh, with the Vicres up toward the front. So we're going to have to actually drill right through the logo, which is kind of weird, like that. I'll just mark the holes with the drill bit and drill through. Then I'm going to stick it up with some two-sided tape. All right, so I have a 5 30 seconds drill bit. Uh, I've lined the back corner up. You can see there's a little there's a little curve to this fin. So I lined the bottom corner up, and the bottom is flush here. I guess we're just going for it. Send it, as the kids say. The hole actually kind of missed the letters, which is kind of convenient or lucky, I guess. All right, we got the fin, a couple of brackets, four small nuts, and four small bolts. It's so weird that they'd want the bracket on top. It just doesn't make sense to me. 
That would be what I would change about these immediately. I would make it so the L bracket goes underneath the splitter. And this goes on the outside of it. That way the bracket is completely hidden. But they have the bracket so it sits on top of the splitter. Small nuts and bolts. Doing finger tight for now. Yeah, see, it's kind of weird that they cover up their own decal. I think we'll probably just end up taking it off completely. I wouldn't want this at the front of the car. Yeah, that looks weird to me. Now, we'll leave it on for now just so uh, we can show it in the video. But the decal's coming off. And it's going like that. Hmm. I think I'd prefer to see the bolt head on the outside. So we'll do it like this. Yeah, see, so yeah, I'm just, I, this could definitely be cleaned up. Again, this just kind of gets me back sort of that mindset of I just need to make my own parts because I, I don't know I mean this this doesn't make any sense I mean, sorry I'm using an adjustable wrench to hold the nut here because I don't feel like getting my other tools out the socket set and a little Phillips head screwdriver And don't, guys, don't, don't think I'm talking trash on this company because they obviously sell a ton of these. And when you're selling a ton of something, it really cuts down on production costs and time. So I understand why they do things the way they do. It's just probably not how I would do it. That's all I can say. It's going to look kind of sick, but again, this is the one thing that drives me nuts. Why, why would you do that? Whatever. All right, can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? I'm gonna wipe this down with a little rubbing alcohol, get it cleaned up, and then I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on it just to kind of mock it up into place and see what we're dealing with. That's why you clean stuff up before you put two-sided tape on. I'm also gonna do the underside of the car. Probably just going to use the tape in a couple strategic locations right here in the back, uh, somewhere here in the middle, and then up toward the front. Let's use some really small pieces of two sided tape. I'm not sure it's going to hold the weight, but we shall see. I actually, I mean, fit is really good. Fits flush to the front and flush to the rear. So no complaints there. Um, they are light enough, so a little bit of tape will hold them up. Um, you can angle it however you like. I got lucky and it angled right kind of how I like it. I didn't want a big chunk of splitter hanging out the front. I think it looks weird. I think it needs to taper from the rear to the front. That actually looks... I think it actually looks pretty sick. And now what I need to do is get myself a little bit of clearance underneath and we'll look to see where we need to drill those self-tappers.
So seven self-tapping screws, mark seven locations on the splitter on the underside to make sure you're uh, screwing into strategic locations to hold it securely. Two in the back. Three, four, five right up there, and then two in the very front. And be careful in the back where it sticks out kind of far. You don't want to screw in and then end up going through your rocker. That would be bad. I do everything the hard way. It's really flimsy. Gosh, I wish, uh, we're gonna need way more screws, I think. Or more tape. I think that's gonna be the answer. Just some big fender washers would make a big difference too. Just pretty much relying on this small uh, self-tapper, uh, self-tapping screw heads to support all the weight and the force that you're going to have on the splitter going down the road. And so if you widen that contact area, that surface area, with a large fender washer. It'll hold more of the splitter up with one screw. You know, it distributes that it distributes that security, that force up on the splitter to the car. Uh, so I think that'd make a big difference. So that'd be one recommendation also. Uh, get yourself some additional self-tappers. Get yourself some 3M double-sided tape. And get yourself some fender washers. on side two and I went and actually got some more double sided tape uh, a little bit wider this is like I think this might even be one inch um, double sided tape so this will be a little bit more of a permanent solution I did not get more self tappers I think seven will be sufficient uh, with the addition of some high quality tape so cool thing about these is that you can make them as aggressive as you want obviously you can tuck them in as far as you would like and you can pull them out as far as you would like quite secure along the whole length uh, except for right toward the front there's a space here where there is not there is no plastic because uh, like I said that's where you put the jack um, so I'm gonna just put some tape in along this edge I might loosen these up a little bit to give me a little wiggle room uh, but I'm just gonna put some tape along the very bottom edge of this rocker and then that will secure this portion here but otherwise the rest of it is pretty solid well Let's go see how this thing looks.
Well, there they are, guys. They look really awesome, the Vic Res side splitters for the Q50. Very, very simple, uh, relatively simple installation. They look really, really good, actually, surprisingly, for what they are. I'm not sure how the car looks on film right now. It is totally dirty in, in real life. As soon as I got these installed, it started to rain. I tried to wash the car but it just continued to pour and you know i want to get this video done so sorry i'm not going to wait for a clear day it's supposed to rain like six days in a row right now uh, otherwise i'd have it washed up and do some really nice shots for you but it is what it is the splitters still look good even with that being said though guys i might I, i'd still say that we may try to make our own splitters at speed culture studios just for just for the heck of it see what we can come up with maybe more of a a customized uh, splitter for the queue but I gotta say they look pretty good. Cars looking pretty slick. I actually thought they might look better with black wheels, but they really don't look bad with the Ford Star F14s. The wheels are dirty as hell. Uh, I'm sorry guys that the car <laughs> is in the shape that it's in. But splitters, I think you get the idea. They look pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I suppose I'd recommend them. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? People have told me that the Q50 only looks good with splitters when the car is slammed, so Stay tuned, we might have to check that out.